Today's guide, Amaterasu, the Japanese goddess of the sun. I'll be going over her flexibility, her mechanics, and what makes this goddess shine on the battleground. I will also cover her abilities and provide tips you'll be able to apply in your next match. Item builds and conquest specific strategies will be avoided as these tend to change quite frequently. Feel free to skip to any part of this video that fits your needs. Roll the intro. Amaterasu is part of the warrior class. She deals physical damage and is typically seen in the solo lane. Known as a lose lane win game character, Amaterasu has a tough time in the early phases of the game. But where she lacks, she makes up for in the later teamfight phases of the game. Thanks to her aura abilities, has occasionally proven to be successful in the support role. Like most warriors, she tends to be naturally tanky. Thanks to her passive, she can flex into both an attack speed or an ability based style. She excels at zooming around the map and diving the backline to disrupt the enemy, enabling her teammates to take full advantage of the openings she can create. Passive Illuminating Strike Hitting three basic attacks on the same target will create an aura around that target that increases damage taken from all sources. Any enemy within the area will also receive the debuff. Ability number 1. Divine Presence Amaterasu is able to switch between two auras that provide a buff to herself and nearby allies. The first is the Benevolence Aura that provides a movement speed buff. The second is a Valor Aura that provides a power buff. Every time she switches between the two auras, she will heal herself over a short period of time. Ability number 2. Heavenly Reflection Amaterasu charges her mirror for 5 seconds. While it is charging, she takes decreased damage and can release it ahead of time. The mirror can be charged by either taking or dealing damage. When fully charged, the mirror will deal double the damage. Ability number 3. Glorious Charge Amaterasu silences all enemies in front of her in a line, which is quickly followed by a dash. The dash will damage and go through minions, but stop on the first enemy got hit. Ability number 4, the ultimate, Dazzling Offensive. Amaterasu will strike 3 times dealing damage. If she hits at least 1 enemy for every strike, the final strike will stun all enemies hit. Amaterasu is immune to crowd control while channeling this ability. The following is based on years of personal experience. Every player has their own style and preferences and that's alright. These tips are here to provide help to those who seek it. If you dislike them, please feel free to ignore them. If you disagree with any of them, feel free to let me know. I try to keep an open mind and always willing to learn to get better at a game that I love. Amaterasu's second ability, Heavenly Reflection, is her highest damaging and best minion wave clear ability. Adding points will increase its damage and the damage mitigation she receives while channeling this ability. Her first ability, Divine Presence, is a strong runner-up as it provides good buffs and sustain. Adding points will increase the healing it provides as well as the buffs for each stance. The third ability, Glorious Charge, is her best escape tool. It receives increased power when points are added. Whenever possible, put points into the ultimate. That said, here's my recommended level up order. Tip number 1 You do not have to hit an enemy god with the ultimate for the stun to apply. If the target is out of reach for one of your strikes, try to hit minions instead. Your motion might be enough to reposition and stun the enemy. Tip number 2 You can charge and release her second ability, Heavenly Reflection, during the channeling of the ultimate. 
This can burst down unexpected targets very quickly. While active, this ability also provides damage mitigation, which can work in your favor when surrounded by enemies or tanking objectives. Tip number 3. Her passive is a very strong tool, as it discourages enemies to play too close or risk taking extra damage. It can also be applied to objectives like the Fire Giant. Try activating her passive on your target before starting a combo. You'll increase the damage you and your teammates deal by a significant amount. Tip number 4. Her third ability, Glorious Charge, can be body blocked by enemy gods. Whether you're chasing someone down or trying to dash for your life, keeping that in mind can help you better position yourself for a successful dash. Tip number 5 Choosing the right aura for her first ability, Divine Presence, for the right situation will make a big difference. Need to rotate to Gold Fury? No problem. Switch to the Benevolence aura and zoom across the map. Your team is trying to take down an objective? No problem, switch to the Valor Aura to give your team a power boost. Tip number 6 Item synergy can sometimes make a character feel just right. Items which provide a buff every time a heal is used can be beneficial. Shield of Regrowth is a great example. It gives the movement speed buff every time the user heals themselves. Meaning every time Amaterasu switches between her auras, she will gain a movement speed buff. I hope this video proved useful and that you'll be able to apply what you learned in your next match. If you enjoy the content or there's a god you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you all on the battleground.